Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are doing fine. We know almost everything in the universe is made of atoms. And these atoms consist of electrons revolving around the nucleus, which appears something like this. This is a, the orbit in which electrons, negatively charged electrons, revolve around the, the positively charged nucleus. Here, the nucleus consists of positively charged proton and electrically neutral neutrons. What I have shown you here is known as orbit, which is the imaginary path of electron. Now, we know very well, there is always a force of attraction between a positive charge and a negative charge. In a similar way, as electron is made of, electrons have negative charge and the nucleus have positive charge, there is always a force of attraction between them. Now, this force of attraction reduces as the electrons move away from the nucleus. Electrons which are located far away from the nucleus and loosely bound are referred as free electrons. Why do we call them as a free electron? Because they are free to move from one atom to another atom. And these electrons play a very important role in the conduction of electric current in a substance. A material or a substance which allow electric current to pass through them are referred as conductors. And that the opposite of a conductor is non-conductor which is otherwise known as insulator or dielectric material. In this video, we are going to discuss about dielectric materials. So, dielectric materials are the substance which do not allow current to pass through them. As they do not have free electrons, so they cannot conduct current. All the electrons in the insulators are tightly bound to the nucleus. And uh, this kind of uh, materials are usually made of uh, two kinds of molecules. One is the non-polar molecule. Another one is a polar molecule. What do you mean by molecule? A group of atoms is usually referred as molecule. Remember this. If uh, we take a pair of uh, atom, then it constitute a molecule. We call such molecule which consists of two atoms as a diatomic molecule. If there are three atoms present in a molecule, then we call such molecule as triatomic molecule. If there are four atoms, then it is known as tetraatomic molecule. If five, then it is known as pentaatomic molecule. Like that it goes. Anyhow, I, I hope you have understood what is the meaning of molecule. Now, what do you mean by non-polar molecule? Let me explain that to you. Non polar molecule. Molecules in which the center of positive charge coincides with the center of negative charge are referred as non polar molecules. They appear something like this. Yeah. Okay. Suppose uh, this is uh, the positive charge. The center of positive charge then coincides with the center of uh, negative charge. Then 
we call such molecule as non-polar molecules. Uh, for example, hydrogen molecule, oxygen molecule, then uh, carbon dioxide molecule. These are all uh, some of the examples of non-polar molecules. They do not have a permanent dipole moment. No permanent dipole moment. Is present in non-polar molecules. Now, what do you mean by polar molecules? Let me elaborate. Polar molecules. Polar molecules are opposite of non-polar molecules. Here, the center of a positive charge do not uh, coincide with the center of negative charge. I repeat, molecules in which molecules in which the center of a positive charge do not uh, coincide with uh, the center of negative charge. We call uh, such molecule as polar molecule. So they behave like uh, a dipole. Mm -hmm. This one pole is another pole. So they have uh, permanent uh, dipole moment. Permanent dipole moment. But here, uh, due to thermal motion, repeat, due to thermal motion, this is uh, electric dipoles are arranged in a random direction. So let me show that to you. Suppose this is a uh, up. Polar substance here. What do you see here is nothing but electric dipoles. These electric dipoles are arranged in different direction. But here we have negative charge. Here we have positive charge. Here we have negative charge, here we have positive charge. See? They are arranged in a different uh, direction. Okay? In this manner. They are not aligned. Now suppose when it is placed in an external electric field, what happened? They align themselves in a particular direction. They align themselves along the external electric field. You know, suppose I place them in a electric field. Suppose the electric field acts in this direction. This is a the electric field. So, this is a direction of electric field. If it is so, then you may find that these are dipoles aligning themselves this way. Along the electric field. Here, The charge and uh, this end we have negative charge of these uh, dipoles. So, if you look at this carefully, we will find that at this end we have the portion, we have the portion which uh, 
have a two positive charge. So positive charge density and here we have a majority of negative charges. So charge density is difference letter sigma minus negative charge density. Clear? Now why do they align in that way? Now I told you earlier this is the direction of electric field. This is the external electric field represented by these straight lines. External electric field. When electric field acts in this direction, that means this side we have positive charge, and this side we have negative charge. Now um, the negative side of dipole are getting attracted towards the positive side of electric field, whereas the positive side of electric dipole getting attracted by the negative side of the source which has produced this external electric field. Now as a result of this alignment, what happens? An electric field is produced within the substance. We call this one as internal electric field which acts exactly in the opposite direction of the external electric field. Why is it so? Because this side we have positive charge and here we have negative charge. So this internal electric field acts in the opposite direction. I hope you have understood. Now, uh, one thing I forgot to mention about the non-polar molecules. Uh, in nature they do not have permanent dipole moment. But when they are placed in a electric field, in an external electric field, what happens? So, oh yeah. suppose I apply some external electric field in this direction. So, in such case, what will happen? Here the center of positive charge and the negative charge slightly get displaced in a positive center of positive charge moves away whereas center of negative charge moves towards this side because of the external electric field acts in this direction. So the center of Positive charge and negative charge moves slightly away from each other. So it induces dipole moment in the molecule. So we call such dipole moment as induced dipole moment. We can, this clearly shows that we can induce dipole moment in a non polar molecule by placing them in an external electric field. Now, let's come to this polar molecules. Here I use the word thermal motion. What is this? Here the word thermal means heat. Now, did you the heat in the surrounding the internal energy of uh, the dipoles increases. As a result, they start uh, moving. So that uh, random motion makes them to get aligned in different direction. But when we place uh, such a substance in external electric field, they get aligned in a particular direction. We call uh, this phenomena of alignment of dipoles in the presence of external uh, electric field as polarization. What do you call this? The phenomena is referred as polarization. Polarization. I repeat, the phenomena of alignment of dipoles in the presence of external electric field is uh, referred as polarization and here P 
P is induced diaper moment is found to be directly proportional to the magnitude of the external electric field. I repeat, the diaper moment, the induced diaper moment is directly proportional to the external electric field in which uh, the substance is placed. I hope uh, the video is useful. If you have any kind of doubt related to the topic, tell me put your questions in the comment section. Thanks for watching.